Wow, we are out here. It is a beautiful sunny day out here. And uh, hey, guess what? It's freezing cold too. It is actually almost zero. I think it's like two degrees out right now. It's a little breezy. But we got the green leaf 1818 pipe bender. We bought it used off of eBay. We bought the shoes. We bought everything separate. Unbelievable. We'll reveal the pricing later. But unbelievable how cheap we got this thing. But nobody had all the parts, so they couldn't get top dollar for it. Our job is to figure out how to use it. So sit back and we'll show you how we set it up. All right. Here's our Greenlee bender. First thing we gotta do is it's got places to store stuff so you can store a bending device here. So we're gonna put that on. We got two extra devices. This is for bending two inch pipe. I'm gonna put that on here like this. We gotta put a pin in here. Bought brand new pins. Uh, didn't come with them. There we go, that ain't going nowhere. Zip this up. Boom. All right, you can see what we got here. This one can go on here. Looks like there's actually room to put a couple on there, but we're only gonna put one for now. Put it through the other way. Put it this way. Easier to get at. All right. Well, let's turn this around. You can see how it bends. So, this is the bender. As you can see here. Let's see how that device works now. Uh, as you click this, it pushes that that way. But we've got to turn it up, uh, unload, when it's frozen stiff. So we had to buy a pipe for the arm to turn it. Bought a cap so that we could. Uh, Protect our hand from the threads on one end. That's all that does. So I should be able to put this over here and bring this up. Oh, she's really stiff. I don't know when it stopped, but uh, we'll stop this at the, the zero mark. Somebody has made a coat hanger clip here to hold this to hold the wheels on when you bend this. You gotta replace that snap ring. Now bend an inch and a half piece, so we're putting that wheel on. Once it's on, you have to put that clip you don't we don't have back on. For now we'll just put this wire on there. Hang the wire. That's how you can break. Well, I can't get it on right now. We're gonna leave it off. All right, so that's where we're at. The other thing we did is you can see right here. It says inch and a half only. Rigid. That's what we're gonna use. We got our roller in the right hole. Okay, so we can't bend unless we turn this up. There, now it's gonna ratchet. 
Well, let's go get some measurements and figure out how to bend a piece of pipe. And get ready to bend here. So you gotta you can get your instructions off of online. All right, pretty nice. You can see uh, we know we want a 21 inch uh, hook on this. We know that the deduct is 15. We looked it up on the chart, 15. So 5, 21 minus 15 is six. So we're gonna mark our pipe six inches from the end, not counting the threaded zone. Then that goes right on here. So we'll turn this up and put it in there, flip it through. All right, let's go get our pipe. Pipe, you can't see the pipe, but there's our pipe. So we wanna measure six inches from here six inches if we mark that six inches we got to get it lifted in Our pipe goes through pretty easy. Uh, we got to get the line in the right spot. There's the line in the right spot. Should be ready to bend. Trouble getting our uh, pipe in here. There's a screw here we got to get a screwdriver for. All right, back the screw out. There's pipe in there now. Mark's right where it should be. All right. Looks like we're bending pretty good. Uh, not quite to 90. We've got a little ways to go. It's at 90, but we don't have much of some spring back here, so let's uh, push down on this a little. Well, let's see if we got it coming. So she's on. Now the pole's still in the hole. So we got this pulled back. I have to do this a little more. There we go. We're free now. We're free. All right. So the question is, we got a 90 degree angle, and uh, looks like we do. So that's pretty good. Now the big question would be, can we actually put another one there? So uh, we gotta release this.
there's our pipe. Got a real nice 90 on there, maybe just a shade past. But, uh, again, we gotta back this thing back. So, uh, take the pipe out. Turn this back. Very heavy. Alright. We're going to have to take this whole thing apart, clean it up, lubricate everything. But it looks like it works. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get another bend in here uh, right next to this one and go back the other way. Uh, but you bet. Let's see what we do with that. sure this is level. Alright, so what we're going to attempt to do is see if we can make a 180 degree bend with this thing. Uh, we tuck this up as much as we can here and uh, you can see we can clear this wheel. We're going to try to bend the loop so this comes all the way level. is a whole bubble that way so theoretically if they're parallel we gotta go at least one more click maybe two still half a bubble now a little more than half a bubble we're good this, push this down, pull this handle down. There we go. Should be able to release this just like we can. Stick the feet on that a little bit. go. Got it. Alright, look at that. And they say you can't bend a 180 in a uh, Greenlee pipe bender. Now granted, you couldn't do the inch and a quarter without cutting part of this wheel away. So, if we want to do inch and a quarter, we have to buy us another wheel, we can cut part of it off. So, this is absolutely a fun project where your gloves would zero out, or your fingers stick to the tube, 
but hey, thumbs up for the Greenlee 1818 Bender. Here's the beauty. If you look online, these things are $1,800, $2,500, over $4,800 for a new one with all the wheels and shoes. Now, if you're going to buy EMT in your spin wall tube, make sure when you buy your shoe, you get your follow board or follow piece with it. It's a piece that goes on the bottom to stop the tube from kinking. If you don't get that, you're going to have problems. Now, we did a great job here. Double thumbs up. $300 for the vendor. Shoes we paid about 60 bucks a piece for. I'm in this with the shipping for under 750 bucks. So I don't like it. I can sell it and probably turn a profit on that too. But I love it. Wait till we do our Jeep projects, our Explorer projects, etc. I'm going to show you. I'm going to get my saw. I'm going to cut this off. We'll go see, put it up by the vehicle. You can see the plan. All right, let's cut this thing off. Piece of cake. All right, so thinking about making a brush grill for this. Check that out. The bumper will be gone. So. All right, guys, great. Hey, like and subscribe to these videos. Don't miss another epic, cool one like this. Remember, benders, boy, just for just for the two and a half inch die and a regular bender, I was looking at eleven hundred dollars by the time I got it to the house. I'm seven hundred and fifty dollars. I'm at the house. I can do one inch. I can do three quarter, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. And if I go thin wall, I can do two inch. I'm like Flint here. This is epically beautiful. Gonna get one of them little small benders. They're like $100. Gonna try one of them out. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also gonna get the notcher so we can start tube notching. So you can see how that works. I think, uh, I think you're gonna like this. I know I'm liking it already. Overland Jeep project coming up. Make sure you subscribe for that. We are going to build a roof rack for our Jeep out of that type of pipe along with some other pieces we're going to be able to add lights wiring through it and everything right now you go to buy those you're looking at a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars all right guys that concludes this video so like and subscribe thumbs up here greenly 1818 bend fabulous tool for your home garage make sure you buy the shoes for the ridge and pipe make sure if you don't you get a follow-up bar we have a follow-up bar for the two inch it only does two inch in thin wall EMT type pipe. So this is the epic ending. Sorry guys, it's over. Out here. Best of luck with your home project. We're gonna start building custom stuff for Jeeps.